the song the song. I don't know about you, but one thing for me, I'm going to turn up for shop. Hey y'all, what's up? Long time, no talk to on my brand new TV. TV's too fucking big for this space. Um, speaking of space, I moved into my new apartment. Um, I've been watching a lot of, um, ooh, what's that? Mm. Oh, let me show you how much of a mess I am. So I took my nails off during my move, right? Because it was easier for me to pack, clean, do hella shit. So I put on pop pop ones. I put on press ones so I could go out last night and be cute. And then motherfuckers have popped off. I'm so embarrassed. So I'm gonna try to get in the nail shop. Oh my god, it's just been so much, y'all. Like so much. When the Virgo dropped it off today for me, um, so big and I didn't have a cart and he had to carry it and he was so strong and he picked it up. He's such a man's man. Um, I'm air drying my duvet cover because I just like the way things smell when I air dry them. And that's the pool area. Hmm. Um, I had it all clean and pretty earlier, but since the TV and shit came and <clears throat> anyway, I'm here doing work. I need to, um, I just felt possessed and compelled to pick up my camera and I look like something tragic. Who needs to really see the story of little baby? <laughs> I gotta go support my nephew tonight. He has a, he doesn't even know I'm coming. He has a, um, like a show he's a rapper <clears throat> I'm sorry the light is waning I guess because I'm moving around he has a show tonight and I'm gonna go surprise him that TV is hella fucking big I don't even know if I want to really mount it on the wall because it is so fucking big I don't even want to but I do need to mount it because I, I anyway this is your first time here excuse me I'm not that scatterbrained it's just been a lot going on and yeah. I know, I'm definitely, I'm definitely gonna get a copyright because that's my song. The lighting situation here, I don't know, but let me just go ahead and get close. So I'm wearing my um, studded, what is this, uh, Steve Madden boots, faux leather jeans from Shein Bus. So this is actually my Tory Burch belt, um, black bodysuit from Shein, and my gold jewelry, that's it, oops. <laughs> and then the scent of the day is Versace Yellow Diamond. I'm gonna carry my Versace backpack because I wanna be able to carry my camera because I'm gonna try it tonight. See if they gonna let me in. Um, so I'm drinking a shot and a half of the 818 Anejo. If you like Reposados and Anejos, um, the sweeter ones, this is a really great brand. Um, yeah. My bar is empty because I just moved in. Um, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope that this vlog makes some sense. I said once I get settled in my place, which I am, I was going to pick my camera up and get back to it. With regards to like the fitness and the meal prep and planning, I get a lot of um, comments about that on my Instagram because I post a lot of fitness stuff on my own Instagram because it's just easy. Um, and I just get more traction there. Ugh, YouTube, y'all be playing. So, I don't know if I gotta get naked or like, um. I love this shit. Oh. 
I already know this is gonna be done before summer is over. I have my camera. Let me grab a battery. Cause we already know how that goes. I always play like jazz in the background or sometimes I play talk radio for him. He likes it. You know what? Go get the picture, Kim. See, that's what I gotta start doing. <clears throat> I gotta go. <laughs> when I saw it, <clears throat> I need to go get it. Period. Well, thank you. No, yeah, in fact, you gotta do it like a little thing. <laughs> I'm like, don't be putting no weird shit on I would never put weird shit of nobody on YouTube. Like, I'm not a hater. Night Riders in full effect. Ooh. What I'm talking about, what I'm talking about, like I wanna, I'm feeling like, I, f I feel like I wanna take my shoes off. It was some ratchets, you know. Oh, oh my God, the Bay Area is so cutthroat. And I be like, because I be by myself, and the way I look, we just be talking about my body, cause like it be like, oh, fake booty, all that shit. The shit they were saying behind me, I was like, they're definitely talking about me. But when a motherfucker tried to cut me in line, I had to cut these niggas down. They was like, oh, bitch, this is my sis, blah blah blah. Bitch, you was just talking about me behind my back. Good morning, y'all. <laughs> Good morning, y'all. You sound like dying, motherfucking Cornelius. Listen, one thing I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm not gonna be playing these games with the press homes because psh, they play hella games. I gotta figure this out. I gotta get my life together. When they took my set off that I had on for like three months because I hate getting my nails taken off, but that's about to change. Um, I had a bit of fungus on my fucking right hand. And I'm just trying to let it grow out. That's like one thing I'd really like to do is keep my nails done because I just feel more feminine.
it is such a fucking hassle with this dog in this building having to have him on a leash because he just does not know how to act and he's just running all over this motherfucking place and that shit is so annoying like I ain't never ever wanted to just swing my dog around like a tether ball but today he almost made me like snatch his ass up off his paws oh god good morning guys I had such a good time last night but <clears throat> extra faded And there's a lot of stuff I need to do today, but I know I'm not going to make it to Walmart today because I just don't feel like going in there. But I have to go and turn in my keys for my old apartment. So that's where we're heading back to San Leandro to drop that off. What I would like to do today is go sit by the pool and get some sun. My face, <laughs> you get on my nerves right now. Like, I, what? Is he back there talking back? <laughs> Times like your pets do shit, like, and they, they like kids, and you be like, choke your ass out right now because you're tripping. Um, I really, I wanted to go to Sephora too. I need to cook dinner tonight. I've been eating out a lot still and just like spending a lot of money like just on a bunch of random shit and not even things that I need like just food. Just Hello. Yeah, I'm driving. I just thought to call you because I can't text because I'm driving and I'll be driving for a minute. Um, the venue was hella big. It was like a big ass hall. Um, it, it mean it was not packed not at all but um it was a it was a cool turnout of people i mean i don't know but what what i didn't like for them is they went on last okay you're the headliner that's fine they went on last but hella people had left because it was going on for like fucking forever so and they was the last people up, up there i tried to put some of that shit on instagram i don't know I was lit, bitch, and got contact high and all the shit, because them niggas were smoking 999 bottles of beer on the wall. They did a really good job. Um, I met his girlfriend, Millie. Yeah, I've never met her, so you went up there. Oh, she's ratchet. She got all the tattoos, all the long ass, long ass, click clack, click clack nails. She's dark skin, well, brown skin like me. She's thin, she's cute, no, she's not, I'm not saying she's not ratchet like her personality but when you look at her she is city girl like she got all the she's definitely something because the bitch he bought a duffel bag on one day and like what is she oh uh, i don't know so <clears throat> remember when i told y'all i had to get my car done over rewrap so it's so good the wrap is so good this time um <clears throat> and basically now that I have covered parking, I don't have to worry about washing my car. I've had my car back for like a week and I haven't had to wash this motherfucker at all. That's that. So, I gotta be careful too because now I see when people be outside, like influencers and stuff, they be outside and they try not to show where they live at. Because, yeah, there's a such thing as a real-life stalker. And I'm going to tell you, it's a real-life stalker for sure because this person I met in person and connected this person to my YouTube um, because I did. And a couple people. Um, I don't want anybody to know where I live at, just so I am a little mindful about the shit that's going on behind me or whatever. But I love my neighborhood and I want to just share with everybody else. But... Legit, motherfuckers be in your area and be stalkers. That's what I was about to say. God. So what you know about my nail tech, my favorite nail tech, lives in my building too. So the look. Oh my God. The fuck? 
<laughs> that motherfucker just walked by my motherfucking car, bitch. Okay, anyway, so my nail tech lives in my building. And so I seen her in the gym the other day. And I was like, um, I'm not even finna stalk you, bitch, but you need to bring your nail bits and your shit home and do my nails because you've always booked. So I was like, I was just saying to y'all, I ain't fuck with these uh, press ones. I just texted her and was like, hey, is y'all completely booked? And she was like, let me look. And she squoze me and she's squeezing me in at 11.30, so I'm so excited. I'm watching Kyra. She, I, you know what? Kyra, I'm sure you guys all follow her or are aware of who she is. She's such a sweetheart. So when I first started uh, thinking about um, vlogging and contributing to YouTube, I had watched a bunch of her videos and uh, she grew on me. And so I started following her. And this morning on her vlog this morning, she was having an emotional moment, like, you know, we all do. And she's always very vulnerable, but she's guarded, but she shows her moments of vulnerability and it makes, it's so endearing to me watching a young lady, you know, coming to her own and managing her business and managing being under the spotlight all the time because, you know, she's definitely being, you know, she's under surveillance, you know what I mean? Everything she does, someone's watching, critiquing, or whatever. I'm drinking my lemon tea and ginger. Um, I'm about to go get in the pool for a little bit just because I just want to refresh. I just want to dip in a pool. I need to go put on some sunscreen, though. Here. Here's my sunscreen for my face. Ooh, I'm so glad I got me a nail appointment, bitch. appreciate my nail tech because she was like let's not put no tips on there right now um, because whatever this is it's kind of deep it is growing out let's just do a dip stay short do a dip because the dip you got to take off like in two weeks when you get you know your new dip set or whatever dip set dip set dip set so I got little nails which is okay because at least they are manicured and they don't look like helter skelter and i decided i wanted to stay home and make a home cooked meal and so today i'm gonna make baby mama tacos so i stopped at traders to get a few things and so i'm gonna go ahead and uh put those away
I bought me a little um, salad that I'm gonna eat now because I just that's what's most important right now is like the way I feel when I'm eating, the way I feel when I'm drinking, the way I feel when I'm working out, or when I'm just existing is very important. So I'm gonna try to set the best stage for myself. I don't wanna be eating, rushing, and you know, not really paying attention to what I'm doing and like when I'm watching television or when I'm reading a book. I don't wanna be distracted, um, put my phone down, put social media down, put whatever down so I can focus on that one thing because that's the only way you're gonna really retain anything and digest anything, in my opinion. I find that I'm always split, doing multitasking. I'm always thinking about this, looking at that, you know, dual scrolling, and you know, I need to not do this. Anyway, and that's on period. I think I even want some, you know, it would be good. I haven't had these in a while. These were good last time I had them. Don't mind that box right there. sequester myself in a space where I can focus on editing. I'm gonna try to edit this current vlog that you're watching now up into this point um, so that I can get it ready so that I may be able to post it tomorrow. That's the goal. Uh, today, um, I really didn't have any plans. Um, my friend just texted me and asked me if I wanted to go to a backpack giveaway. Um, Mr. Fab is a rapper in the Bay Area. Um, he's doing a backpack giveaway at Pepsi Park in Oakland. Where is Pepsi Park? I don't know where the hell that's at. Anyway, so I might be doing that today, but uh, let me get to editing. Bitch, I am. I'll take your bitch and watch her drag you out the motherfucking house. <laughs> I sure hope this ain't no video kind of shit you gonna no, post. I would you. never, bitch. That shit crazy. I would never. We left the kids' event and came up to Mr. Fab's basketball stuff tournament. He had a backpack giveaway, all the stuff. That's where we was just at. <laughs>
at you guys. Look who has her camera on finally. You know I'm the worst fucking vlogger. My baby hair is like real authentic. Um, real baby. I'm Lily. What's wrong with the leg leg? He's running and chasing probably a fly. Stop fucking with the flies, Lily. Okay guys, listen. There's absolutely zero light in this motherfucker. So you definitely can't see me. But my cousin is here and, I'm, and um, I'm about to drag her. I wish I could tell y'all what's going on, but it's not your business and it's not my business. But <laughs> my cousin is a savage. And guess what? She's a Virgo. And uh, she explained to me some of her tactics today. And I said, you know what? We are definitely related, but I'm not fucking with you because you're definitely a psychopath. <laughs> But she's visiting from Atlanta for a couple of days. Okay, fuck it. Hi, Tiffany. Yeah. Isn't she Hi. pretty? Do we look like twins? Cousins. Sisters. She's my baby sister, even though. Oh. Yeah, well, yeah. And, I, and my Tiffany is oh, funny. Yeah. I never thought my Tiffany was like. Why didn't you know I had jokes? No, I thought you was always. You used to be always prissy when we were younger. I just, hey. and, um, Let's see what we're going to find out. What we going to see? Oh, God. We don't want to know. Um. <laughs> I'm not talking about it. Um, and right. then, <laughs> I'm sick to my stomach already just thinking about it. Not really, but um, not really at all, because it's funny. <laughs> it? I wish I had a... You sh Did you tell that nigga, oh, the next time you ask, just what? make up a, spa a place. Yeah, 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 I'm gonna send him on a you should, you should say, nah, I just balled it up and threw it on the roof. And he gonna be like, damn. No, I'm gonna say... I flung it up on the roof. What did he go up on the roof and try to find it? Go look in your bushes. No, I'll be like, I threw that shit on the roof. It made a slid down on the side. I don't know. I just threw that shit when you wasn't looking. I'm so mad. And watch, what if that nigga gets on the ladder and gets on the roof and goes to look? That would be so fucking funny, blood on mama. We're gonna go to, I'm gonna take her to Cunha's. I don't think it's gonna be too many thick niggas in here tonight, okay. but there might be some. Cause she, some. she keeps swearing up and down Monday Night Football gonna bring these niggas out, but I go there all the time. But if nothing else, it's a it's nice environment. Just started. It's, it's, it's Is pretty they, season. Are they playing real games? Yeah, it's preseason, but they still playing. Yeah, so that, they actually had a Raiders game the other day and everybody was watching it in there. Yeah. It was a preseason game. Preseason, yeah. and Raiders won the other day. Yeah, I don't be paying attention to that shit. So, I need me a new man. My cousin lives in Atlanta. I don't even know why I ain't been to visit her yet. It's going down there. I'm going. It was like, niggas, I called my cousin. Let me tell you right now. I called my cousin on Friday. And I was joking and kikiing about stuff. And she laughing and giggling. Oh, no, we about to do this. We about to do that. Mm -hmm. Unbeknownst to me, some shit was already brewing and going. And she, I don't, with a, you talking about with a smile on your face? And you don't know what's happening? No, no. I'm dead ass scared of my cousin at this point. I'm like, <laughs> and then... You drop him off and say, okay, I never want to see you again. Don't call me no more. He just wanna, like, that nigga just want to know where his picture is. <laughs> Please tell me you threw it on the roof. I want to see this nigga get on the roof. Oh, this is like a little banshee. Um, I pulled my hair up because it's just so much. My cousin is so funny. She is such a the flirt. Um, I didn't bother to take the camera in. Um, but now I'm taking her to my bar in San Leandro where I used to live just so she can get out and, you know, have some drinks. But she's a very social butterfly. And my cousin be pulling niggas. She pulled two niggas tonight, like, boom, boom. I was like, and Tip don't mind talking, chatting. My cousin is crazy. Um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> um, I'm so hungry. Um, so I guess I didn't achieve the goal that I wanted to today, which would have been to have this vlog posted on Monday, which is today, um, <clears throat> because yesterday got crazy. I overdrank. I didn't get to sit down and edit, but anyway, nevertheless, you're seeing it now. Hopefully, I got that shit up by Tuesday. I really have fun sharing with you guys. Um, it felt good to pick up my camera and to share. And so, if I don't do a closing tomorrow, this is gonna be the closing. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, take care. Until next time.